Hello, welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to write some more example functions that's going to help you to understand function in a better way. And let's take one example now. Uh, let's write a function that's going to check whether a supplied number is prime number or not. We know the definition of prime number. Uh, a number is prime number if it is only divisible by one and that number. That means it doesn't have divisors other than one and that number. Now 13 is a prime number because we can divide 13 only by one and 13. 20 is not a prime number because apart from one and 20, we can divide 20 by two, also five. So 20 is not a prime. So a number is prime number if and only if it has divisors one and that number, nothing else. So in order to find out whether a given number is prime number or not, we need to go on dividing the number from two up to the square root of that number because that's the necessary and sufficient condition according to the mathematics. Because if the number doesn't have a divisor in the range two to that square root of that number, then it cannot have a divisor um, in the other range as well after the square root as well. So we need to run a loop starting from two and we need to go up to square root of that number and we need to check whether that number has a divisor in that range or not. If any divisor is found then it's not a prime number otherwise if no divisor is found in that range then it's a prime number. Okay so we are just writing this function is prime is going to check the slight parameter n that's number the number n supplied as parameter is prime or not if the number n is prime then it's going to return one otherwise it's going to return zero so we are just taking a loop counter say i and we start from i equals to two and we need to go i less than equals to square root of n and i will be incremented each time by one since we are using sqrt function in order to uh, calculate the square root of the number n so we need to include the header math.h because the declaration of sqrt is given in math.h so now in the for loop we need to check whether i is a divisor of n or not if i is divisor that that means we just need to check n percent i if that is zero equals to zero then i is obviously a divisor now I, n percent i is zero if only i divides n okay so if i is divisor what we need to do is to return immediately without doing anything else zero then the function gets terminated and the value zero is returned to the caller so if we come out of the for loop up to checking checking up to the square root of n then it's obvious that we didn't find any divisor in the range 2 to the square root of that number and obviously it's a prime number in that case we should return 1 so that's all it's the prime number checker so now we can just check and print all the prime numbers say between 10 to 100 so if I need to print all the prime number between 10 to 100 I can just write a for loop here starting the count from 10 and we should go less than equals to 100 and each time I'm incrementing count by 1 and then if the count is prime number and for that what I'm doing I'm calling the is prime function within the if as you can see that I'm calling it here now I'm passing count to the is prime function if the is prime function returns one then if is going to take the result of the condition as true so in that case we should print yes it's prime number percent d is prime so we are printing count otherwise if it is not prime i'm just not printing anything it can happen we, we may ignore to um, write the else part so if the number is prime number 
then it's returning one is prime is returning one and we are just printing that it's yes it's prime number otherwise it would return zero and in that case we are doing nothing so let me just run the program to show you that it's really printing the prime number in the range 10 to 100 okay here we go you can see that these are the prime numbers in the range 10 to 100 11 is a prime number 13 is prime and so on the others so that's it we have written a function that's going to check whether a given number is prime number or not so we can use this function in our program to determine a number a prime number or not now going ahead we can use this is prime function from some other function if we need so for example if say we are asked to write a function that's going to find out the sum of all the prime numbers in a given range then we can just use this is prime function in that particular function say i'm writing the function to find out the sum of all the prime numbers in a given range so the function name can be given sum of primes and i'm just giving the lower bound from which we should start and up to the upper bound so we need to just find out the sum of all prime numbers in between lb and ub both inclusive so what i'm doing i'm just writing a counter here declaring a counter here and we should start and and and, and also we should have a variable sum and i'm starting from count equals to lower bound and sum should be initialized with zero because i'm going to accumulate uh, the sum of the prime numbers here in the variable sum if the count is prime number and we should go up to count less than equals to upper bound okay and each time i'm going to increment the count by one so now within this loop i need to check if the count is prime number or not if it is prime number then i need to add this count with the sum variable so i'm calling the is prime function in order to check whether the count is a prime number or not so i'm just calling it from here and as you can see that if it is prime number that means if the count is prime number what i should do i should just add it up with the sum variable and when the for loop ends that means when the count goes upper bound plus one then the condition count less than equals to upper bound becomes false and we come out of the for loop and we get the sum of the prime numbers in the range lower bound to upper bound both inclusive in the variable sum so i'm returning the variable sum to the caller so here is the function so now if I call this function, that means sum of primes, I'm going to get all the, I'm going to get the sum of all the prime numbers in the range lower bound to upper bound. So I'm just calling that function here. I have uh, commented the previous code here in the main that was finding the prime number in a range. So I'm just having a variable s here and calling the function sum of primes and passing set 10 to 200 my intention is to find out the sum of all the prime numbers in the range 10 to 200 and sum of primes is going to do that so sum of primes in the range percent d to percent d is percent d okay so the first percent d is lower bound that means it's 10 the next one is upper bound that's 200 and we need to print s here okay i'm running this as you can see that it's 4210 that's the sum of all the primes in the range 10 to 200 now we can change the parameter here and we can get the sum in the other range as well we can take the lower bound and the upper bound from keyboard or from a file and we can again find the sum of the primes so you can see that we are calling this sum of primes and here we are using this is prime function so if we write a function we can modularize in any way and we can plug in that function anywhere we need the function 